Part one is going to be the animation basics. Uh, we're going to look at what it takes to actually make animations inside of Photoshop. And also, we're going to look at some basic fundamentals for uh, uh, animating in general. Um, we're going to keep everything to the two-dimensional side to start with. Uh, this one's going to basically set us up so that we can do uh, traditional 2D animated games. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that we're using Photoshop for this one. Uh, the other option as well is to use uh, programs like Flash and you can actually create your animations inside of it that way. Um, to get started though, uh, we'll go ahead and create a new document. You know, so I've got one right here. This is going to be a, uh, the size for me is 1280 by 700. Um, we're going to go up to our windows up here and go ahead and go down and click on your animation. So when the animation window comes up, you'll notice down at the lower uh, part of Photoshop, you'll have an animation timeline, a measurement log. If you go to the far right down to the bottom corner, you have another button down here. We're actually going to change from our animation timeline, we're going to change to the uh, animation frames. So if you left click on this, uh, it may ask you a question or state something, you go ahead and just choose OK for it. Uh, inside this one now we have animation frames, uh, we have a frame down here, and then on the right hand side we have layers. Um, we're going to do a couple of basic things with the uh, the frames just so we get used to how Photoshop works with it so we better understand that side. Um, to get started, go ahead and go down to the uh, the very bottom here. Do you see the one that says frame? Um, you've got a little create frame button right here. Uh, go ahead and uh, what we want to do is actually create um, a couple of frames, we'll create a couple of layers, and we'll, we'll provide some basic movement for it. Um, to get started though, let's go ahead and go over to our background layer and just go ahead and create a, uh, a new layer. We'll call this one layer one. All right, so our background layer we could do, we can actually like kind of draw on it as the uh, something that's going to be consistent throughout all of our frames. And then each layer is going to be the, uh, the movement for us. Um, inside of here, the first animation frame, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to sketch out we're just going to do a very basic shape. Actually, we'll get started with a really basic one here. We'll do a ground plane, and just down at the very bottom, um, oops, let's go ahead and control Z there. Uh, at the bottom of this, let's do just a little simple line going across. There we go. And then on layer one, we'll go ahead and put a ball right up here. So go ahead and just kind of sketch out a little circle. There we go. I'm kind of do a little motion lines around it. Um, next thing we want to do is create a new frame, so just left click on the new frame, then go over to your uh, layer 1 and go ahead and hide it, create a new layer, so this is going to be layer 2 for frame 2, so now we want to have the ball going down just a little bit, let's turn this one back on so we know where it's at, so we'll take the ball, we'll drop it down uh, just a little bit below it here, and then we'll hide layer 1 again. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, frame, create frame 3. Right, we're going to make a new, a new layer, so layer, t uh, layer 3. And in layer 3, let's go ahead and, instead of making the ball uh, circular like this, let's go ahead and make the ball kind of flattened out here. So we'll squash it just a little bit here. Okay. And we'll hide layer 2. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a new frame again, so frame 4 and we'll create a uh, new layer for layer 4. And for this one, uh, this time around, let's go ahead and actually raise the ball up a little bit more. So we'll create one just a little bit higher above it here. Alright, and then we'll hide layer 3. Now if you remember on layer 1, we had it right there. So we should be able to actually use this these four frames, we'll just do these four, and we'll have the ball bounce up and down. So, inside of your frame options, you see the little play button right here, you can left click on the play, and it'll go through at one time. If we actually want it to loop, you see where it says once right here? Left click on this, and choose forever. Now when you click on it, you'll actually have it going up and down like this. Now, you notice the speed is actually based off of zero seconds. So this is just going as fast as it can through it. Um, let's go ahead and click stop. Now if you left click on the first frame, you hold shift, and you left click on the last frame, you'll be able to select all the frames. Um, left click on any one of the uh, drop downs for the, the uh, zero second part, and you can actually choose a delay for it. Um, let's go ahead and start off, we'll, we'll choose the uh, 0.1 seconds for delay, and then click on the play again. So now you notice the ball actually goes a little bit slower, it feels a little more realistic on this. 
Let's try, since we've got it going a little slower, let's see how slow we can make it go without making it look too weird. So go ahead and click on the drop down again. Try the uh, 0.5 seconds. And then press play. So this one, as you can tell, when you look at this one, you can definitely see that there's a frame, 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 frame happening with it. All right, so let's try one more here. Go ahead and left click on this one, hold shift and left click on the other. Click on your drop down again. This time choose the uh, 0.2 and then push play. All right, so you've got a little bit better than the uh, 0.5, but still you can kind of tell that it's it's almost jittery. Uh, and it's also just simply due to the uh, animation we put in here. All right, go ahead and push stop. So more than likely, uh, your frame animation, you may want to put it at anywhere between a 0.1 to a 0.2 for this type of animation. So we have a ball bouncing. Go ahead and push stop here. Uh, you notice you can left click and you can select through these. So you can go back to them. Now when you select this one, notice over here. Uh, be watching this screen over here for a moment. When I click on frame 1, you'll see the, uh, the visibility, the little eye, is on that one. Frame 2, frame 3, frame 4. So the eye itself is turning off on one layer, turning on on the other layer. So if you have control of this side and this side. You can say that, for instance, maybe on frame 3, I actually want to have both of these on. Well, if you notice now when I go to here and I go to this one, two of them are on and it jumps back to this one. Now, granted, it's probably not going to be the best looking thing, but you can actually make multiple layers show up in a single frame. So, for instance, if you're going to do a character and you wanted to have uh, the head on two or three layers, you wanted the body on four or five layers, um, you don't have to do everything on one single layer. You can have it in multiple layers turning off uh, for instance, you can make it into a group, and you can turn the group on and off so you can see it going through it. All right. So let's go ahead and turn layer four off on that one. So this is going to be basic, uh, basic, basic uh, bouncing up and down type of cycle for us. Um, the tools themselves, you'll notice that uh, on the animation frames, uh, you don't see anything here, but if you go all the way to the right over here, you see the little drop down right there? I go ahead and left click on it. Now, by default, uh, actually when you were making yours, may, you may have noticed a little bit of an issue when you created frames. It's because the create new layer for each frame may have been checked, or the new layer is visible in all frames was checked. If either of these were checked, go ahead and uncheck them. Be sure that you have both of these unchecked, otherwise you'll have an issue with it when you're creating your frames. All right. Um, the other thing to take note of is that up on the top part, uh, you have a new frame, delete, delete animation. All of these can also be found right here, new frame and uh, delete frame. And then this one is actually a tween. You can create uh, additional frames for it. All right. So we have our animation frame set up. The only ones that we'll look at later is going to be the uh, flattened frames into layers. Uh, this one is a great tool to be able to use. And then this one as well, make frames from layers. But this one's going to be one that you'll use when we actually make uh, sprite sheets for our animation. All right. So basics for animation. You can get to your animation window by going up to workspace and click on animation. Um, if you don't if you want to use it at the moment, but you want to leave it up, you can just click on the bar. It'll lower it. You can click on the bar to bring it back up. And then on that bottom right, you can switch between your animation timeline, and you can go back to your animation frames. This is the question that will come up. Just click on continue. Then you go back to your animation frames. And then don't forget, you've got your option to choose how often these are going to repeat, whether it's forever, three times, or, or uh, actually you can do a custom as well. All right, so this is going to be our basic setup, and it's going to be the thing that we're going to use for most of our animations as we learn, uh, at least on the, t on the uh, traditional 2D side of things.